Drainage is a big issue in South Texas, and I am here today with Peter with Nelson Nursery and Water Gardens, and he's going to talk to us about some drainage solutions. But Peter, I used to call these French drains, but they're not a French drain. And I've picked that up over the years. I've heard, I think there is some uh, misused terminology when it comes to drainage. This would actually be referred to as a box drain or a surface drain. Okay. So in this application, we've got all this concrete here. So in a heavy rain, we need to get water out of here quickly. So this water can flow on the concrete, can enter this surface drain, and then we run solid pipe, typically out to the curb. Okay. So this is great to drain uh, areas near a pool deck, a driveway. The thing you got to keep an eye on is, is yes, yes. after a big storm, you'll get that debris on there. So we usually recommend people after a rain come out and clean those intakes. Okay. So it's taking water off the surface. It's doing right. nothing to drain the actual earth around it. It's right. taking water off right. the surface in a heavy rain event. Okay, so this is a box or surface drain. So what is a French drain? Let's take a look. So at this residence, we have this pool here and we wanted to do all this landscaping behind it. Yes. So it was like, well, how do we handle uh, a large rain, which, you know, it's springtime, it's coming. All that water is going to want to run into the pool. Right. Well, what if I had a couple of surface drains like we just talked about, well, what if a couple of those got clogged? You know, so we, we wanted a solution to where we could have an increased surface area. So a French drain is actually a perforated pipe. And that's, that's PVC, and there's holes drilled. It'll be on the two sides mm -hmm. and actually on the bottom. And you do have the holes facing down when you do a French drain. And you see the sock here, Sandy? Yes. So once you lay the pipe in, you pull the sock. We'll actually, at the end, we'll tie a knot there at the end to keep it all sealed. Okay. And then you fill in with just a coarse, you know, river pebble or bull rock around this. All right. So what this allows to happen is instead of just having one little nine inch or 12 inch box for water to flow in, in this case, we've got 60 feet of pipe. Water can, in a heavy rain, flow onto this stone, settle down into the pipe, and this pipe then connects in and flows out to the curb. Perfect. So it's, you know, a perforated pipe. I like using these in a, in a scenario like this, or, you know, a difficult area where it always stays wet. Right. You know, we, we talked about the surface drain, it only takes water off the surface. Right. This will actually keep the ground drained down to where those holes are. So six, eight inches, you can, mm -hmm. you can bury these really deep and it'll help keep a you know boggy area from getting too wet. And this one goes all the way the length of the Correct. pool. We wanted to make sure Great. that in a heavy rain, we get this water out of here and not into right. the pool. So this is a true French drain. This is a true French drain. I think by definition, Great. a French drain is gonna be a perforated pipe in some sort of trench or hole mm -hmm. that can collect top water and ground water and get it out of here. Great, two great solutions for drainage issues that yes. we may have um, in your landscaping and yards. And I am Sandy with Home Show Garden Pros, and this has been Peter with Nelson Nursery and Water Gardens.